Good morning. Thank you for being here on the Valder BB Show. I want my audience to know we get to talk to Dr. Mark today, and he brought along Tiffany, and we're going to talk. Dr. Mark is a lung cancer specialist, and so we're going to be talking about a weighty subject, but an important subject. Dr. Mark, you know, there's some startling statistics going on. It says about a quarter of all cancer deaths in the United States are due to lung cancer. Tell me more about this. Yeah, lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States. It's not the most common cancer. Breast cancer is more common in women, prostate more common in men. But in terms of cancer deaths, now that's the bad news. The good news is, is that our cancer mortality figures are improving. And lung cancer is one of the diseases that's leading the reduction in cancer mortality. I think it's because it has become the poster child for new therapies like immunotherapy, like targeted therapy. And that really underscores the importance of comprehensive biomarker testing. So how does this help inform uh, treatment options for, for cancer patient biomarkers? What does this do for us or them? Yeah, Valdor, as I, as I say to my patients, uh, cancer is a disease of your DNA, and you must interrogate the DNA at the time of diagnosis. This is looking at the DNA of the cancer itself. There are a number of biomarkers or genetic alterations in the tumor DNA. Uh, again, we call these biomarkers in which there are specific targeted therapies approved by the FDA that are much more effective uh, than standard chemotherapy or immunotherapy. And this is why uh, you know, coming into Lung Cancer Awareness Month, next month, November, we're partnering with AstraZeneca to get the word out about how important this comprehensive biomarker testing is because it allows your oncologist to get you the right treatment for the type of lung cancer that you have. I'm going to ask Tiffany. Tiffany, thank you for being here. What can you tell us about your diagnosis in a synopsis format? Sure. I was in July of 2017, I had actually been having uh, some very stressful things happen in my life, and I had lost a lot of weight. I was very tired. I'm a registered nurse, and I was getting ready for work the one morning, and I started to notice a twitch in my eye and in my arm. I called 911, and when the paramedics found me, I was unresponsive. They had taken me to a local hospital. They thought I had had a stroke. And when they scanned my brain, they actually had found a mass in my brain. And then they continued to scan and found the mass in my lung. I would be diagnosed with stage four lung cancer that had spread to my brain. And it would be days later before I really understood what was going on. But I did have a biopsy done, as Dr. Szynski had talked about biomarker testing. And this was completed at the time of the biopsy. And it was a tool that I was able to use to talk with my doctors about what the best treatment type is for my cancer. Tiffany, thank you for sharing your story. Um, I'm so glad that you are still here to share it. Dr. Mark, uh, Tiffany's stories, um, how, how can other people benefit from this? Well, it's, uh, you know, her story uh, really is a good story. She was diagnosed with stage four, you know, five years ago where she got the appropriate testing done. Again, the importance of comprehensive biomarker testing. Uh, she got the appropriate treatment. And here with stage four disease, uh, now five years out, she is living a high quality of life, completely functional and, and doing well and is cancer free at this point. So. Um, those are the types of outcomes that uh, we see, and that really underscores the importance of making sure that you understand everything you need to understand about your lung cancer to make the right treatment uh, decisions for individual patients. Doctor, I've, Dr. Dr. Mark, I've noticed. I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. No, I wasn't saying anything, Valdor. Okay, Dr. Mark, I've noticed that... Uh, you medical professionals, along with research scientists, have moved the uh, uh, finish line from stage four. Stage four used to be a final sentence, but now people are living with stage four. What has contributed to that? Yeah, that's a great point. Stage four used to be a so-called death sentence with lung cancer. Nowadays, because of immunotherapy options, because of targeted therapy options, 
Uh, you know, and Tiffany's case is a living example of the fact that she's had stage four disease and now is five years out with the right treatment for her type of lung cancer. Uh, it really centers around the fact that we have better therapies. We understand lung cancer better. Comprehensive biomarker testing is part of that. And it allows oncologists to get the appropriate treatment for your type of lung cancer. There are many different flavors of lung cancer. The job of your oncologist is to figure out what flavor you have and what is the best treatment for your cancer. And when you personalize that treatment, uh, that's you can get better outcomes. And so, again, coming into Lung Cancer Awareness Month, you know, we're partnering with AstraZeneca to underscore the importance of comprehensive biomarker testing and making sure that uh, every lung cancer patient uh, gets this in a comprehensive fashion to make sure they get the best treatment for what they have. My audience that needs to know more, wants to know more, is there a place online for them to go and educate themselves? There's lots of places online, but a good start would be diagnosisstories.com. That'll give you a lot of information about lung cancer in general. It'll give you information about biomarker testing. Uh, so diagnosisstories.com. Dr. Mark and Tiffany, I want to thank you so very much for being here and giving hope and for others who are listening because whether we're talking about lung cancer or any kind of cancer, you have to have something to hold on to. And this is Tiffany's story is something to hold on to. So thank you for being here on the Valder BB Show. Thank you so much, Valder. Thank you, Valder. Hey, I'm Valder BB. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcast, and in print publications. I interview the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB's Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me, and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next Beebe Summer Book Giveaway.